The federal government has identified unemployment and poverty as triggers responsible for various antisocial behavior ravaging the country. The Minister of State for Industry, Trade and Investment, Miriam Katagu, made this known at the closing ceremony of the 2020 National Industry Skills Development Program in Abuja. She said, to contain the danger posed by poverty and unemployment, government has ruled out policies and measures aimed at reversing the trend. Some of these policies, according to her, include the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan, the National Youth Investment Fund, and the Economic Sustainability Plan, including the MSME Survival Fund, among several others. There is no doubt that some of the greatest challenges facing the country today are poverty and unemployment. Some key stakeholders share their views on the excellent job ITF is doing in addressing the huge unemployment gap in the country. Note that by virtue of this training, you have now been equipped with the necessary skills to improve not your life and that of your respective families, but also to contribute meaningfully to the growth and prosperity of our dear country. For doing a good job, they can always count on us when it comes to providing the necessary support from the National Assembly. Earlier, the ITF Director General, Joseph Ari, while assuring that his agency will do what it could to take the youth out of the street, said no fewer than 11,100 unemployed Nigerian youth have benefited from skills acquisition of the Industry Training Fund National Industrial Skills Development Program. Without the government's committed efforts, the unemployment and poverty situation in Nigeria could conceivably have been worse. The NISDP is one of the skills intervention programs of the Industrial Training Fund. Fred Idehai, CNN News.